What's up, Bollywood Warriors? Welcome back to uh, another video. And um, actually, is it another video? Who knows? I might have actually got my shit together. It's easy to want to do the easy option, but it's hard to find the balance between doing too much. As the saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none. But sometimes, better than master of one. Whilst a lot has happened over the past 18 months, um, not much of that has been training. The house, the project has made good progress, but my body hasn't in fact. It feels very much like this house at the beginning, which is structurally unsound. So I think the best way to finish off both this and starting anew is to finish what I should have started in the first place, which is the home gym training space. I actually bought this equipment in uh, October of 2021 and I'm literally just taking it out of the box now, so. <laughs> and this is kind of why I haven't shared as much online is because I haven't had much to share in the first place because I haven't been training and subsequently I've kind of been scared or ashamed to admit that and, and, and that decline. I'm not in any way saying this for sympathy. Um, I'm very, very grateful to be in the position to take on uh, a task or a, a challenge like this, to learn from it. And as well, I'm extremely grateful to be in the position that I am on YouTube to, to say that I do fitness as a job. It just feels like it lacks authenticity um, that I'm saying you should do something when I don't stick to it myself. Because ultimately, uh, I've always tried to be as real as possible, no hype. Uh, just being honest online. And I guess because I don't want to be dishonest and act like everything is fine, it's just been easier to not make videos and avoid that whole scenario. The main reason I'm in this position to begin with is about four years ago, I asked myself the question, uh, what if I couldn't do this as a job? What if I wasn't as lucky as I am? Um, what other skills do I have? I had bills to pay at the time. I was only supporting myself, but what if I had a family? I saw the, the talent and the other information that was out there and I didn't really have the confidence to, to think that I could compete with that in the long term. On reflection, maybe I should have done, but um, I decided to be proactive and learn something, which in this instance was some construction, some building, some property renovation. And this is now the third house in as many years. Over the past two, I've managed to balance it much better with building my business, training, like living a healthy lifestyle, etc. But uh, in all honesty, this one has been a baptism of fire. I've done most of it myself. I've learned to bricklay, I've fitted windows, fitted kitchens, fitted bathrooms, probably pissed off a few neighbors. Um, but yeah, I've gained a lot, I've learned a lot, um, but I've, I've also lost a lot. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you what has been lost using a building analogy and some bricks. When we train, we first create adequate strength by building up our foundations, okay? As we work towards more advanced goals, those become a little bit more specific. So, less breadth, more specific to our goals, and eventually we end up on top achieving our goals. Nice pyramid. What happened to myself over the past year is essentially that capacity, that blocks that I built up initially at the bottom were removed because I wasn't training often, I didn't have the capacity, but I could still do this very nice movement at the top. However, it just made it substantially more unstable. And the likelihood of injury when you're trying to achieve those top level movements without having really, I guess, earned the ability to do it uh, makes it more likely for you to get injured. Which is ultimately what happened. I had a few injuries over the past 18 months. The first one was literally a month after starting this house and it was the combination of pulling ceilings and doing a lot of demolition work and still trying to train as much as I was training when I wasn't doing any of this, which resulted very quickly in bicep tendonitis. My uh, training from that point was quite up and down, just trying to find a balance of actually doing something without hurting myself. Um, I also ended up 
having a slight hamstring tear performing some front splits again because I was trying to go into a position that I have done in the past but I hadn't earned the right to do so in the more recent future. Again, I'd lost that capacity. Finally, I've actually got a labrum tear in my left shoulder. This time though, it was simply, I was in a ditch, I slipped, it was kind of awkward and that one was more of just a pure accident as opposed to me being stupid. There's a lot more to talk about when it comes to the injury side of things and I'm gonna go through that in full detail as these videos progress with a few guests on the channel whose faces you might recognize and uh, I'm really excited to share that with you. I also feel like I've lost the conversation here on YouTube. I've stopped sharing these more vlog style videos where I'm just chatting through the things that I'm doing, which is actually originally the way and the reason I set out to make YouTube videos in the first place. I really thought that in order to do this, I had to be the best working on the most advanced movements, super flexible, super strong, etc., etc. But I realized that this was probably just more of an ego trip than anything. And in fact, it's probably more useful to share the process, the grind, because it helps people who also want to achieve that understand what's involved and how they might get there. And due to the injuries that I've had and the lack of training over the past year and a half, I kind of feel like I'm starting again. And I'm starting from scratch, which if I think in the context of what's going to help people out, that's probably pretty helpful to share. So as Emmett says, knowing is nice, but doing is better. We're gonna do the work, the thing that matters. But I wanna finish up by asking you a question. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you wanna know, uh, and what I can share with you that might help you, you're interested in, etc. As well as your criticism, feedback, whatever it is, I read every single comment. And to be honest with you, that accountability, knowing that I post here on YouTube, is one of the main things that motivates me. Thanks for sticking about, I really do appreciate it, I'm very grateful, and I'm excited to share more things with you in the future. Until next time, have a strong week.